Okay, so this is section 10.2 for real. Gradients of a straight line graph. I'm probably going to extend to working out the equation if I know what I'm like. Um, anyway, let's just do the gradients first. You remember from key stage 3 that if we take, for example, I don't know, a little slice of the line like this, if you look at that, for example, that's two units up and two units across. Let me just annotate that. I'm working on black, say. So from the y part is two units up and across here the x part is two units across. So you may remember the gradient is the y part divided by the x part or the y vertical length divided by the x horizontal length. So I've got essentially 2 divided by 2 and the gradient is therefore 1. So this line has a gradient or steepness of 1. Remember I used to call it steepness. Now let's just do the second one working in red again. Let's just take um, a decent triangle there. I suppose if I go from here to here and from there to there, if you can see with me, I've got a vertical y height of 3, so call that y equals 3, and here I've got a horizontal x length of 1, so the gradient's going to be, um, let's do it here, it's going to be again y divided by x, and the y height is 3, and the, the width across the bottom, the x part is 1, 3 divided by 1 is 3. So this gradient here is represented by the number 3. This gradient has a, a gradient of 1. As you can see visibly, uh, 3 is a lot steeper than 1. That's why it's a bigger number. Now this one looks less steep than 1. It looks a lot less steep than the 3. Let's work it out. I'm using again this little facility. I could take any size triangle you like really and I might demonstrate it with this one. So that's very bad. I'll start again. I'll do it across. Again, it's quite hard to do actually. I don't know if you can see that, but um, over here I've got the Y part being one unit tall. Doesn't matter that they're into negative territory, it makes no difference at all. And the X part here goes from 0 to 2, there it is. So it's two units across. And so the gradient's going to be. It's going to be Y over X again which is 1 divided by 2, the gradient is a half. It doesn't have to be a whole number, it hasn't got to be more than 1. It could be any, anything at all. So the gradient is a half. As you can see visibly, uh, a half, a less steep gradient, is a lot less steep than 3. There's the 3 there. And still less steep visibly than 1. There's the 1 there. All right. um, here we have a negative gradient because the line floats around the other way. I can still take you know, a nice giant triangle. Let's take a bigger one this time. Let's go from there to there, and from there to there. Not perfectly. I think I'll try and do that again. Yes, I think I've got that. Right then. Um, look over here. Um, this vertical line here is the Y part. So just this little part alone is going to be uh, how high is it? From 0 to 4. So that's 4. And here the X horizontal distance is going to be from minus 5 to minus 1, just count the squares, uh, that's 4 as well, and the gradient's going to be, is going to be y over x, and this time it's going to be a negative gradient, because it's poking around the other way, so that's going to be minus 4 over 4, in other words the gradient is minus 1, it's equally steep as this one, but it's, um, again as you can see it's sloping the other way, from left to right going down, here from left to right going up and they're different. So let's just highlight that for you. It's a negative gradient here. And all the others are positive gradients. Alright, so those three are positive, doing, 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 and these ones, this one by itself is negative, alright? Let's move on to the next question. Actually, this time I was going to work out the equation one time. Let me just show you one anyway. I'll work in, I don't know, green. Now, I know the gradient is 3. So I know the equation is going to start off by being y equals 3x plus something. Now, this something here, I mentioned in the previous video, it's called the intercept. And uh, what's that on there, isn't it? Can you see that it actually crosses at the point 0 minus 3. Right there is where the line crosses the y-axis. That's the coordinate 0 minus 3. 
and we use the minus 3 to stick on to the end of the equation and so the equation of that line is y equals 3x minus 3 uh, if you're at all interested that's how it's done I think we've gone into grade B territory here um, this one would be y equals as I showed is it this one would be y equals 1x or y still on yellow stop it behave this one's going to be um, y equals x plus nothing so it's just y equals x this one's going to be y equals well the gradient's half isn't it so half an x plus something no nope. minus one cross is right there on minus one that's the equation y equals half x minus one and this one's going to be y equals minus one x or just minus x minus one cross at zero minus one again that's a, just a little extra for you to think about if you want to perhaps think about getting a grade B later on if you want to resit or something like that then that'd be fine let's just turn over and do these questions now now work out the gradients of each of these lines so we have ready-made equations we're not going to plot them we're not asked to do that so if you remember we're looking for the number in front of the X to identify the gradient right straight away nothing to calculate the gradient is 5 here by the way it also crosses through 0 4 to plot it, that's a bit of extra for you. Here the gradient is 1, because I've got 1x, it will pass through 0, 2. It would pass through 0, 2, and that's because of the 2 right there. Here the gradient is going to be minus 2, not just 2. And on the previous page, you came across what a negative gradient looks like. There it is. So that's minus 2, the gradient is minus 2, and it will incidentally pass through the point 0, 3 as well. Now, D, let's look at it carefully. I'm going to write it down here. D's different. I've got Y plus 5 equals 3Xs. Now, look, we can't have, you know, 5s and Ys all mixed up. We've got to get it in the form of Y equals. So, Y equals 3X, just like you rearrange a standard equation, take it over and minus it. 3X minus 5. So, can you see the gradient is 3, because the 3X, and incidentally, if you're interested, this line will pass through the coordinate 0, minus 5. So minus 5 would be the intercept. We'll do the same procedure for E. And uh, let's write out the equation. 2y equals 6x minus 7. And now we don't want two y's, we want a single y. So if we divide everything through by 2, because um, we divided 2y by 2 to get a single y, that would give us 3x's minus 3.5. 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. So what's the gradient? Let's just go yellow again. The gradient is 3. And the coordinates of intersection with the y-axis, otherwise known as the intercept, is that one. It will be 0, uh, minus 3 and a half. Is that correct? Yes, that's fine. So there we go. So very ugly coordinate, not a whole number, but it doesn't matter. It's correct, though. Let's just do the last one. F. I've got 4x plus y equals 9. To get y on its own, it's going to be 9. Now, take it over next door, minus 4x. So the gradient is going to be minus 4. So it's going to be, it's going to be quite a steep line, something like that, poking around the other way because it's negative. And uh, so the gradient's minus 4, but the intercept is going to be 0, 9. Look, because the 9 there, um, it'll cross at 0, 9. It'll be a very steep, negatively gradiented graph, so to speak. Right, and the last one, let's just do this one now. I like the look of this, so let's carry on in blue. The diagram shows the line y equals 3x minus 5. So, I'm not going to read the question, but that point has got to be 0 minus 5, because the minus 5 is part of the equation. And this gradient has got to be 3. And let's carry on underlining in yellow for gradient, so that's the gradient. I'm sure you can see this yellow against the lovely white background, but never mind. Um, next bit. Now, RQ has got three units across. In other words, between that point and that point, I've got a gap or a distance of three units. And the gradient has got to be three, as you can see. I've got to work out the length of line PQ. In other words, how tall is the Y bit? So I'm going to work in red because that will fit this. So the X part is three, and the Y bit is, I don't know yet. But do you know how to work out gradient? Y divided by X equals 3. And I know the x part is 3, so y divided by 3 
is 3. So how do you get the y bit? 3, take over and multiply, standard equation, procedures, 3 times 3, y equals 9. So now I can take my little blob, get rid of the question mark, it's no longer a question, y is 9. Sit back and contemplate this, well, 9 divided by 3 is 3, therefore the gradient matches the gradient in the question, and we know therefore that y has got to be correct. So I'm going to stop there, and maybe review the assess, and get back to you when I can.